In signal transduction, we see a single ligand binding to a receptor. This typically creates second messengers like cyclic AMP, and that results in the activation of the phosphorylation cascade. Now, the phosphorylation cascade is what we're talking about today, because a lot of students wonder why it is that the second messenger or even the receptor can't simply activate the final response that we expect to see from the binding of the ligand. And the reason is signal amplification and control. You see, when that single second messenger activates a kinase in a series of phosphorylation cascade proteins, it's not that that kinase activates just one more downstream. It actually activates like 10, and then the next one activates 10 each, and the next one activates 10 each, with each step amplifying that message 10x. This means that even with a single ligand binding to the receptor, we could have 10 million, 100 million, or even a billion enzymes being simultaneously activated, thereby resulting in that response. And with more steps in the pathway, we can actually inhibit or accelerate any of those kinases in order to fine-tune the response that we need for whatever that ligand is trying to trigger.